Got one more time to say something to me. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. Your mother Currently, Tokyo Tony and Carlissa Saffold co-star on the same show, Aunt T. In addition, Tia Kemp, who has emerged as a solo celebrity in recent months, appears on the show. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thus far, the show has been a great success overall, and each and every guest that has appeared has been successful in some way. Seuss Network is clearly like what it is witnessing so far, even though the show is still getting its footing. Unfortunately, it appears that Tony and Saffold are having a problematic chemistry problem. I'm not the one, Tony. I'm not the one. This past weekend saw the premiere of the most recent episode of the show, which starred none other than the amazing Big Fridia. Nevertheless, a developing rivalry between Saffold and Tokyo Tony that nearly resulted in physical altercations was impeding the show. Come on, aunties, now we gotta make this work. We ain't come here to be conflicted with each other. Security had to intervene as the two began yelling at each other. The two were fighting in front of their guest in a different film, and it seemed like the onset turmoil was upsetting her. Supporters rallied around Carlissa Saffold. Some even went so far as to say that Tokyo Tony ought to be kicked off the show completely because she keeps talking over other guests. What will happen to all of this is yet unknown. We are aware, meanwhile, that this will boost Seuss network ratings. Hopefully, the two can sort things out and carry on with their friendly collaboration. I'm excited about the guests today. I got a lot in common, I feel like- It looks like it will be a fiery edition. Additionally, it appears like Mama D will be a special guest on the show. However, prior to her appearance, Blueface's mother posed a really murky issue which they will undoubtedly address regarding Dee's propensity to discuss her son Lil Scrappy's private matters. Am I as bad as Mama D? Or am I in my son's business? Blueface's mom Carlissa Saffold asked on the podcast, which her co-host disagreed with. Oh bad no, nobody's Mama worse than Mama D. I yeah. mean, I'd see the people in the comments that, you know, she want one of our seats. So, you know, we might have to watch this. We might have to watch her. You don't read the comments. You doing all this and you ain't reading the comments. Girl, you got to be reading your fans. You got to be reading what's going on, what the people want. You FK around, and she'll be sitting in that seat. I'm excited, let's bring Mama D out. The quickies are always the best. The They're always the best. No, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm guilty of mother. <laughs> not even for her son, Mama D holds back. Furthermore, she recently broadcast live on social media about Lil Scrappy's failed relationship with Bambi, sharing her uncensored opinions and airing a lot of dirty laundry. Guilty that I should have allowed him to fall all the way and stop trying to save him. Furthermore, Dee even questioned his intelligence, which gave the attacks a completely new dimension that many fans certainly weren't prepared for. It is some wrong. Nope, 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 nope. Whatever the case, it's just another episode in this protracted and intricate tale, which is even surfacing in instances that have nothing to do with each other, like the recent BAM brawl on love and hip-hop, Atlanta. Okay, show hit nigga, no grace, I see now. Mama D said of Lil Scrappy. Can't show Scrappy no freaking grace. Because he forgets real quick, Mama D added. You should stop. Indeed, he had. Yes, she is attempting to speak with you over here. She is, indeed. This one is more foolish than the typical young man, I assure you. Even more foolish than the last one. Because some of the men I know would never even dare talk to her after what she did to him. I know she a witch, but he got to know that. He didn't get the memo. No, he didn't grow up around witches, but he married one, Mama D concluded. So he away from it, but he feel like he can befriend her and cop errant. But she gone try to get something out of it. She gone do him in like a step back. Let her do it. Gotta let her do it. All things considered, it appears that this issue will persist for some time to come. But we also know that similar disputes can resolve gracefully and quickly. Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta is having a very busy season thus far, and the spicy and scandalous charge is being led by a very popular moment. Furthermore, Amy Lucini and Bambi recently got into a very heated confrontation on the show after Lucini dubbed Bambi fake at first. You got weird when I start hanging around Bambi's fake ass. If you're a fan of the show, you probably already know that the back and forth and insults are very standard. Although nothing got physical or violent, it was threatening to go that far. Slid in your press outfit. Do you think you can slide me, bitch? Furthermore, Amy brought up the turmoil surrounding Bambi and Little Scrappy, which is obviously not a good sign for the season's remaining friendly moments. You got a yellow ass, you wanna try it? You can't slide this way, you ho! Bambi and Little Scrappy used Instagram Live to clarify their current situation, despite the public belief that they had reconciled after their acrimonious breakup. Above all, they made it clear that, with regard to their three kids' silo, Brella, and Kali they continue to have a positive co-parenting relationship. After more than 10 years on Love & Hip Hop, Atlanta, they also stated clearly that they will remain there. They even joked that it didn't matter to them that MTV wanted them to develop their relationship. As a result, it appears like they are getting along well at the moment, even though Amy Luciani's teasing is still a problem. In any case, there has already been a great deal of hostility between them. For example, Lil Scrappy has accused Bambi of not being a serious spouse when it comes to her faithfulness and thoughtfulness. What I'm not finna do though is let a mother fur make me an option, 
He ranted on Instagram Live. I did that when I was married, I did that before I was married, I did that even after I was married for a little bit until I went crazy. I really went crazy and lost my mind. But I'm learning that I already know what I want. I want somebody that's gonna take accountability, Lil Scrappy said about the Bambi situation. That's knowledgeable about life, God with or without kids already. We'll see who almost throws hands next and whether love and hip-hop, Atlanta's upcoming season offers any more ferocious commentary on this tale.